staying fit in 2018, what a great concept, yeah. but staying fit with our prayer life mm -hmm. really, I think, could be considered one of the top things that we could be doing for ourselves. Oh, for sure. Um, and that's a great subject matter to talk about because I think a lot of people do things differently. And what works for some may not work for others and vice versa, but um, I guess staying fit, um, one of the things that I do um, to keep prayers a constant is I've got, I love prayer journaling. I've mm. done that ever since I was a kid. And um, not only is it, is it a good um, history tracker, I yeah. guess you could say, um, but it really makes you stop and think about those things um, by writing down your prayer requests. So that's what I normally do is, is I'll write down prayer requests, but I'll also write down praises and just things that I want to constantly pray for. You know, and they could just be one one name, you know, basis, and I'll just pray for that person at that time. But it's like, it's just more of a scheduled time for me um, to really focus without, without any distractions and say, this is what I'm praying for. And, um, and then obviously to go back and see a month or two or a year or two later, um, how much how much that has changed and how much God has done um, within that time span. So, what about you? I have to admit, I, I'm jealous of people who are really good at what you're talking about, prayer journaling. Yeah. <laughs> I own prayer journals. I have sitting by my bed, the journals and spiral notebooks, and I have such intentions <laughs> to do that, but I'm this super busy mom mm -hmm. with very active kids, and I, yeah. I get to the start, the start of my day is like, and the end of my day is, yeah. and that is one of my dreams, to be able to do yeah. that. But I think, um, I know for me, I just try to make prayer a constant conversation with God. Mm -hmm. Thinking, speaking in my mind, yeah. just as if I'm talking to you. Yeah. And it might be anything from, hey God, thank you for providing me a good parking place, or thank you for providing me a faraway parking place because oh, I need the sure. exercise, sure. or just trying to have that constant um, thoughtful communication. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just, I still have the dream of becoming the good journaler, I hope. Yeah. I pray that I can get there. But. Well, I, that's a good point, though, too, because I come from a place where we don't have kids yet, you know, so I do have that extra time, I guess you would say, or, you know, my life has just shifted differently, and so, um, but that's a great concept as far as um, having that continual conversation with God, and and I, I definitely try to do that as well. I think that that's important and, and it just shows your relate like it shows the value of your relationship with God you know when you're you're thinking about you know you're talking to yourself but you're actually kind of talking to God at the same time type of thing um, I think that's definitely very very cool to do you know I have to I want to make an admission mm -hmm. here um, it's been several years but I can remember going through a period of time in my life where things were very hard, mm -hmm. very hard, and I, I felt like I did not have anybody in my court, and I mm -hmm. felt very alone. And I had to take a trip down I-75, and I thought, okay, I've got to have this God time. And I drove 30 minutes and literally screamed the whole time. Yeah. I screamed. I didn't scream at God, but I screamed to God. Mm -hmm. And I kind of felt guilty because there was some anger in my talking, mm -hmm. but I wasn't angry at God. And I think, I think he was okay with that. I do too. I was, I, leading off of that, um, I learned this in high school and my prayer life shifted when um, a, um, like a youth leader um, talked about prayer and talked about our relationship with God. And um, she mentioned um, just the fact that you can be completely transparent with God. Mm -hmm. Like he, he created us with feelings. He, he knew things were gonna happen to us. And she just mentioned, like, be real with God. Like, yell at him if you want to. Like, he's he's big enough to handle it, you know? And I think that that's such an important, like, just you screaming, you know, and feeling guilty about it. But really, I don't, I don't think that we should feel guilty because it's like God wants that real relationship. And I think when we are real with ourselves and real with God, we get to learn about ourselves, but we also get to learn about God, too. And, um, and that brings up a good point just about the Psalms and just how David was so raw and authentic. And to read some of those Psalms are kind of like scary in a way because um, he's just so, he was just so real, you know? Yeah. And, um, and that's another reason why I prayer journal is because 
it's kind of like my own uh, my own psalms in a way, you know, of just writing whatever is authentically on my heart. There are so many psalms, obviously, so many psalms in the Bible, and some of them are very um, encouraging, mm -hmm. and they are very full of praise, yeah. but some of them are downright, things are bad, and people are making my life hard, mm -hmm. and I hate it, Yeah, you know, and, you know, God doesn't want us to keep those feelings inside. For sure. Um, he doesn't want us to act on them inappropriately. Yeah. But we can come to him with that honesty. Right. That in, freedom. At any time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. So what does a fit prayer life look to you? Look like to you? Well, for me, it involves consistency mm -hmm. and have an ability to cut out all of the things trying to vie at our attention. Mm -hmm. um, the phone, the social media, mm -hmm. all of that stuff that's so easy to go to. Yeah. Um, before I even get up in the morning, I try to pray just as I I'm laying there in bed. Try to too. Um, yeah. Asking God to direct the day and direct me mm -hmm. um, as well. Um, but then additionally, um, trying to emulate a prayer life in my family as well. I'm a mom, yeah. I've got kids, I want my children to grow up understanding that Talking to God is not a weird thing. Right. It's a real it's a thing. Very normal thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, we were talking about earlier just um, how, I, I mean, your relationship with God looks like very similar, similar to our relationship with our husbands or, you know, just like a marriage concept and, and always checking in with that person. Um, I feel like God, will love, He's constantly. He, he's never silent. I mean, he's never not checking in with us, you know, and so it's like, it's just our effort to make that connection with him because he's always waiting and wanting just as a good, healthy relationship is always waiting and wanting to connect with that other person. It's too bad we don't have like a phone number for I God know. and we I couldn't know. just like text him every day yeah. and just said, hey, things yeah. are going well or yeah. pray for me right now. That would be <laughs> kind of strange, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thought though. Just yeah. And and like you said, just opening up your morning with God. I, I love to try to do that because you, you've got a clean slate, you know, your his mercies are new every morning. And I try to go to bed with a clean slate too. Mm -hmm. I always try to say, God, here's my night. I give you my night and whatever I dream, th that's totally up to you type of thing. And um and so I try to go to bed with like just giving those things to God too. And we talked about Psalms earlier and actually one of the things I've recently started doing is mm -hmm. I've discovered the book of Psalms, the entire thing has been read and it is on YouTube. And it's really? about four and a half hours long. That's so I've awesome. actually been playing that at night, quietly okay. in my bedroom, because I thought, how often can That's we awesome. just have that going through our minds? It's right there on YouTube, it's free. Right. Just oh. anything I found lately, maybe it'll help you too.